Hey, Tommy from The Run Testers. In this video, we're gonna do something slightly different. Most of The Run Testers are gonna pick their one cushion shoe that tops out over everything else. So that's the one shoe that they go for if they had only one option to go for when it came to cushioned shoes. Right, let's jump in and see what we all picked. Okay, so Nick, this is interesting video. We've not really done this before where you only get to choose one cushion shoe. Oh. Um, and it, normally when we do these videos, we can pick multiple shoes and it makes it a bit of an easier task, but you've only got one shoe pick. What are you going for? Yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one. I, I wavered a little bit on this, but in the end, I've gone back to the shoe I talk about in almost every video. It's the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. Like these days, it's probably more of a cushion daily trainer rather than an out and out cushion shoe, just because the stack height, it's pretty high. It's a cushy shoe, but some of the, some shoes these days are obviously a very high stack height. I was close to picking a couple of other shoes. I took the Velocity Nitro 2 out today for a little run to remind myself of what I've always liked about it. And it really did just, ram home what a great shoe this is in so many ways just because for my easy running like i don't necessarily want to be on just boring flat roads you know, i'm going to go on a little bit of trail i'm going to go up and down some hills look at some nice scenery and today went for a run with my mate had a route planned to try and investigate a new river path went down it turns out it wasn't at all paved it wasn't at all well groomed it was nettles everywhere just trails shoe grips obviously brilliantly and all of that thanks to the excellent outsole and then we we're doing some hills and that and it's just quite a lightweight shoe quite responsive and you know i'm not looking for it to be quick but it, the fact it's a lightweight shoe just makes it more comfortable when you're not just on flat terrain so at the same time as being very comfortable very cushy bouncy underfoot protects your legs well you can do high mileage weeks with this as your only cushion shoe um but it's not as big stack so it's not so what I thought today was like the shoes I almost went for, things like the Asics Gel Nimbus 25 and the On Cloud Surf, which I think are really good shoes. I love them. And when I go out for an easy run just down the canal or around a flat reservoir near me, perfect. But today suddenly ended up doing a lap of a lake that had no no like no no uh, tarmac at all and it was really rutted and it was all completely dry. The shoes that have gripped on it, but they're just quite big shoes and not very nimble and the Velocity Nitro just feels like a, quite a natural extension of the foot. It's, it is protecting the legs, but it's just not getting in the way. It's not big. It's just not over the top. And it's really cheap. So, And then on top of all those great qualities for easy running, it is a little bit more versatile if suddenly you do decide you want to pick up the pace. And like I say, it's quite nice having a shoe up hills. Again, it isn't big and cumbersome. So if you're doing easy runs on rolling terrain, you're not worried about having just a slightly big shoe on the foot. So yeah, it just ticks every box and I think it looks quite good. So this shoe in particular is a great holiday shoe. You can take it, walk around in it all day, go for a run in it. I think the only slight criticism I have with it lately is that in the sun, in the summer, this padding at the back gets very sweaty. But uh, um, still, it's dried off now and I did run only about two, three hours ago. So yeah, it's Lossy Nitro 2, still is, still is my favorite cushion shoe. You know, it's not, as cushy as some, some much prefer more cushion shoes, especially if they are really on just good roads all the time. But if you are mixing it up a little bit and just want a shoe that you can go out, head out the door in very confident that you're not going to find a terrain that is going to be, you know, unreliable on, then a Velocity Nitro 2 ticks that box. Well, I imagine there's going to be uh, quite a lot of people in the comments that aren't surprised by your, <laughs> your choice based on your history of... Uh, yeah, about, and if we had three picks, I'd have gone for some bigger shoes. Like I do really like the Nimbus 25. It really grew on me, that shoe. And the on-cloud surface is a brilliant shoe. But it's just, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, I'm going off, going on trails, reading runs, going on here. It's just one shoe I can forget about and not think about it too much. Mm. Okay. Well, I am going to... Actually, let's start with, what, what do you think I'd pick, given given my history of shoes, Nick? <laughs> well, I mean, we've uh, we talked, we talked a little about this before we recorded. Spoiler. But um, I do find that Tom nearly always picks the more as his favourite cushion shoe. But he also talks relentlessly about the Saucony Triumph. So mm. I'd expect it to be one of those two with an outside shot of being something like the Nimbus, but probably one of the first two. Good, uh, good. Good uh, assumption there. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I've I've gone for the Sogni Triumph Twenty One. Now, the the reason why I've gone for that is because we only get one choice of shoe, and I think if I had a couple of shoes or three shoes, it definitely had them all be four in there. But that shoe skews more towards the really heavily cushioned sort of runs. I don't use it for versatile runs. I don't use it for you know any sort of tempo work or anything like that. It's just a all out comfortable, easy day shoe, long run shoe. Love it. But I've gone for the Sock and Charm 21 just because I think if I only get one shoe, this has just got it all for me. It's a fantastic cushioned cruiser. It feels great. That midsole foam in it, that Power On Plus is just, it's got a nice little bit of pop to it. 
um, a lot more than you get in some cushion shoes. And it, in many ways, this shoe is actually so it's a little bit like the Puma Velocity Nitro too, in that it's it's a little it's not it doesn't appear it doesn't feel as max cushioned as some of the other big shoes out um, at the moment. So it's just a little bit more conventionally fitting and and feeling, and it's just. It's just a fantastic. It's just you can do everything in it. I, I took. Um, uh, I didn't say this much. I took the Triumph uh, Twenty on holiday um, uh, a while back, and I, I could use that for lots of different things. I, it's not the fastest shoe in the world, but you can do a little bit more training in it, which I wouldn't do in the more V four. Um, and the other thing about the Triumph Twenty One is, to be honest, there's, they've only really updated the upper in this shoe. So <laughs> it, if, if it, if it I'd, I could have equally said the Triumph 20 um, because there's very little changes. But I do think the new upper, it's a little bit more breathable. Um, it's sort of this single mesh design as opposed to that dual mesh that was in the uh, the previous version. It doesn't make a big difference for me. It's just very, very slightly more comfortable. Um, but yeah, just a brilliant, solid, does it everywhere. <laughs> Whatever you need, it does it. Um, and it's definitely a holiday shoe for me. It's great shoe. I think he's pretty... With the Velocity Nitro 2 and the Triumph 20, I haven't actually tried the 21 yet. Mine's lost somewhere in the postal system. Um, probably up there are the two shoes I recommend the most to people when they just want an easy recommend of a shoe because they're both really uh, likely to please people when they pick them up, especially when the Velocity Nitro is going for like 50 quid, as it often is. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, nice. Let's see what everyone else picked. Oh, yeah. We should have had bets on it, should we? I know <laughs> I know what they've picked now, so I can't. <laughs> right. Mike, we still don't know Mike. Mike's a wild card. Oh, that is a wild well card. I, I'm, I'm thinking. No, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to suggest it in this because it'll. Uh, yeah, it'll it, it'll spoil the fun. But uh, I'm yeah. going to guess it's the Nimbus. I have no idea. I can't wait to see the vid. Uh, right, <laughs> it'll well, tell me well, tomorrow. Well, I, hope, I hope people who are watching this now are enjoying it. <laughs> okay, I've literally just got in from running four miles in my current favourite cushion shoe. It's the A6 Gel Nimbus Twenty Five. And it is a dream to run in. Um, I've just done four miles. The sweat is still on my face. So what better time than to tell you why it's great? Um, I've run, I've run up to eight miles as a longest run in these so far. I've probably run about 50, 60 miles in total in them in the la in the few months that I've had them. Do you know what they remind me of? Is I like a, a firm mattress to sleep, a firm mattress, but with a nice soft a uh, mattress topper on the top and this is what they remind me of they're kind of an a, a firm bed underneath and then that like nice little couple of millimeters of softness on top on the uh on on the sole and it is that is that is what i like so if that's what you like I definitely think you might like these. The upper two is great it kind of hugs your forefoot i've been absolutely drenched on a run on these and um they got soaked through uh got home put some newspaper in as you do took the inner soles out but i was worried that they weren't gonna bounce back there was gonna maybe be some shrinkage or some sagging um and they didn't other than looking quite grubby now they feel just the same as before so top marks for that what i found really surprising about running in these is that i seem to run a little bit quicker than I expect to. Um, not not hugely, but I go out usually in these when I'm feeling um, if it's like going to be an easy run, um, nothing too extravagant. I'll reach them because of the the comfort that I am looking for when my legs are a bit tired, and I seem to run a bit quicker than I would expect. I don't know, maybe there's a little bit of springiness there that is contributing to that or the comfort's just making me feel a bit nicer and therefore I perform a little bit better. But they, um, not as heavy as they look. They're, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good amount of soul there, but um, not slowing you down. So my top cushion shoe pick is this, the Asics Gel Nimbus 25. Now it was a close run thing with the OnCloud 77 and the Socony Triumph 20. I haven't used the 21 yet. Now, what I would say about this shoe, it's not a massively versatile cushion shoe. Um, I think, you know, you look at something like the Puma Velocity Nitro 2 and, you, you know, you get something that's a bit more versatile and can work at a variety of paces and you get a kind of nice cushion feel in terms of comfort and protection and that kind of ride as well. Now with this, 
it's, it's you know it's not massively versatile i think you know if you want a shoe that can you can run in pretty slow easy long this is where this shoe kind of really excels and yeah as i said this is the reasons why i picked this shoe and i've continued to use this shoe i think cushioning kind of midsole aside i think you know the upper i just really really like because when you get your foot in you really sink into it it wraps really nicely you know it just feels very comfortable it's up there with a the cloud surfer in terms of that and that kind of fit and then you get to that kind of uh, midsole and the foam that Asics is using this kind of FF kind of um, Eco Blast um, cushioning it's using here. It's plush, it's soft, you really kind of sink into it. And it still creates, I think, you know, a smooth ride and the kind of ride that still makes it a nice shoe to run, you know, a lot in. And that's kind of what I found in my runs post, as I said, that kind of initial review and the tests that we've done um, previously. And as I said, it's a shoe that I've continued to use. The outsole, again, you know, you want to stick to roads and pavements and it's absolutely fine. But I've gone off some light trails and it's been absolutely fine. So for me, in terms of a cushion shoe, that's great for kind of long, easy, comfortable runs. And, you know, it's also protective as well. And that's kind of what you want as well uh, from a cushion shoe. Then this is a shoe that's really stood out for me on all those fronts. So no surprise to anyone that my pick for the best cushion shoes is the Nike ZMAX Invincible 3. I absolutely adore this shoe. I've loved it for the first edition, second edition. This is edition number three and I still love it. I think Nike would have to do a lot. They'd have to change a lot for me to hate this shoe. Um, I would say that this feels pretty similar underfoot to the second one. So, you know, if you're on a budget, save your money and buy the Invincible 2, because I know that these can be quite expensive. Um, but they're they're such a, these. this is the shoe to buy if you want that right sink in comfort. If you want to, literally put the shoe on and feel like there's it's really plush and cushioned under your feet this is probably one of the only shoes that does that for me um it's got this zoom x foam it's got a massive wedge of it and it's kind of got this kind of it's almost like a bunion it goes round the shoe like a rubber ring it's probably less pronounced in the third edition than it is in the second and the first but it is there's a lot of foam here a lot of cushioning and it's the foam that they use in their faster shoes, like the Alpha Fly, like the Vapor Fly. But in the in the Invincible, it's designed to kind of really cushion your feet as you run. It's really soft, really plush. It's designed when they first brought the shoe out, they said it was for marathon runners doing their easy runs. But I think now they've kind of moved away from that because I think they've realized that there's no reason why you don't have to run a marathon to want to do easy miles. Isn't You don't have to run a marathon to want a cushioned shoe. If you are a marathon runner and you've got a race day shoe, sure, this is best for your easy miles, your recovery miles. It, you put it on and it's comfortable and it's soft and it really does, you know, it feels like it, it protects your legs a bit when they're tired. But if you're a beginner, I think there's, there's no reason why you couldn't do more than easy running in this shoe. The Zoom X foam is responsive, it is bouncy. I've worn it for quicker stuff. It's not the shoe I'd reach for because it's pretty clunky, but it's still great. It's still a versatile shoe. The only downside and the only downside on this shoe is the outsole. It's just not grippy enough and it's kind of not really got very much like there's not really lugs or anything. It's quite slippy on like wet pavements. It's a little bit slippy and I really wish Nike would change that. But yeah, like I said, if you're on a budget, save your money and buy the second edition of this shoe. I still run in that one all the time. Um, but if not, if you find these on sale or if you just prefer the look of the third version, it's a super comfy, super cushioned shoe. And I've not found anything as plush and as exciting like i think on days where i don't want to run i put this shoe on because i love running in it it makes me feel like i love going for a run and what more could you want from a cushioned running shoe really so for my pick of the best cushion shoes, I've gone for the OnCloud Surface 7. I don't think I'm gonna be alone on this video in choosing that. There are a few really good reasons why I've put this one top of the list. Now at 8.4 ounce or 237 grams, it's considerably lighter than a lot of other big cushion shoes. Think about the Gel Nimbus, which is 10 ounces. This one, it remains kind of light, it's agile. It also feels quite compact on the foot. So what you're getting here is a lot of kind of cushion protection 
but you're not getting that kind of big weight of a shoe that feels like it's heavy and cumbersome. This one still feels kind of really, really nice and light on the foot. It's agile, it's nimble, and it's a shoe that's got brilliant step in comfort, just about the right amount of kind of cushioning and plushness with the tongues and the padding in the heel collars. And it's a really easy shoe to choose from the pile when you want to go out and run pretty much any run. So when it comes to the cushioning platform, I think it's really well balanced. I think this new Helion Cloud Phase tech that kind of collapses like dominoes offers just about the right amount of response just when you need it to return. So it soaked up some of the impact, then you need it to come back and return. It does. Some of the other big max cushion shoes, I feel like they're squishy and a bit sluggish and a bit sloppy, and they actually make you feel like you're working a bit harder. I don't really like that on my recovery runs or my easy runs or any runs, in fact. I like to feel like I'm getting the shoe to return just at the right time. I think this does this really well. So basically what you're getting is something that's protective but also responsive. And for me, that packs brilliant versatility into this cushion shoe. I can use it for easy plods, recovery runs. I can also use it for kind of faster efforts, bigger kind of tempo. I can do interval sessions in it as well if I really have to. Uh, I could do kind of mixture, I could do long runs, can do short runs. I just think it's got brilliant versatility. Now, 150 pound, it is more expensive than some of my other favorite kind of cushion shoes, like the Hoka Mac 5, 130 pounds. But because of that versatility, I think this represents good value for money. And above all, you can see now, we, we test a lot of shoes and a lot of the time it's quite hard to get back into shoes over again. This is one that I keep going back to and putting on. So my best cushion shoe is here, it's the On Cloud Surface 7. It's a winning shoe from On, one of their best that they've ever made, I think. That's it from us on this cushioned shoe favorites video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click anything you can find apart from this like button. And don't forget we've also got our I don't forget we've also got our podcast as well. It comes out at the end of each month, but we also do the occasional special now as well. So if you go into the caption below, you can find a link to that and listen to it on your next run. Thanks a lot for watching. Catch you next time.